Synchronized Intermittent Mandatory Ventilation, or SIMV, is a patient interactive mode of ventilation. The clinician sets a certain number of mechanical breaths, which are delivered synchronously with patient-triggered breaths. Spontaneous breaths, more than the set number of breaths, are not supported. Volume-targeted ventilation can be used for the set mechanical breaths. Setting up SIMV. Once the flow sensor has been calibrated, go to the Mode Select button, choose Invasive Ventilation and then select SIMV. Once selected, the Settings window will be displayed along with additional parameters. Set your parameters in accordance with the clinician's orders and the infant's condition. You will set Respiratory Rate, Inspiratory Time, Positive End Expired Pressure, Peak Inspired Pressure, Volume Targeted Ventilation, which is optional, and the fraction of inspired oxygen. Under Additional Parameters, set the Inspiratory Trigger Threshold. The default setting is 0.6 litres per minute. Press the Confirm button once everything has been set and ensure that the infant is actually triggering the ventilator. Then look in the Monitoring column and observe the measured pressures, the expired tidal volume value, any endotracheal tube leak, if there are any spontaneous breaths more than the set breaths, and any changes in resistance and compliance. The alarms to set would be high and low PIP and PEEP, expired tidal volume, minute volume and rate. You now have two further options in SIMV. Add VTV for the mechanical breaths, which increases the lung protection of this mode, or add PSV to assist all breaths to enable a successful extubation. Volume targeted ventilation, VTV. Press and hold the VTV button and select an appropriate tidal volume and confirm. The PIP set originally now becomes the maximum PIP. The measured PIP is the amount of PIP needed to achieve the selected tidal volume. VTV will apply to the mechanical breaths only. The maximum PIP should be set no more than 5 millibar above the actual measured PIP. Set the upper and lower tidal volume alarms. Should the resistance increase, the PIP will increase to maintain the tidal volume but will not increase to more than the maximum PIP. If the tidal volume cannot be maintained by the maximum PIP, a low tidal volume alarm will be activated. It could be due to increased resistance or an increase in the leak. Pressure Support Ventilation PSV. By introducing PSV, you will now be supporting every breath, i.e. both mechanical and all spontaneous breaths. The pressure for the spontaneous breaths can be decreased step by step to facilitate weaning leading to successful extubation. To activate PSV in SIMV mode, press on Additional Parameters and press and hold Pressure Support. Next to this button is a button called Termination Sensitivity. The default setting is 5%. 5% means that 95% of the flow has been achieved in the lungs. The flow is rapidly delivered, peaks and then decelerates to the termination sensitivity level. And at this point, inspiration stops and expiration commences. There is an automatic leak compensation for leaks between 10 and 50%. The flow increases to the level of the leak and thereby flow terminates the breath. If no flow triggering is seen, check that the inspiratory trigger has been set correctly.